Midjourney now has an option specifically made to blend images. So instead of just one or two images, you can blend up to five images using this new function called slash blend. So if I head into Midjourney, type in slash blend, you can just hit space and it will actually ask for two images on desktop. If you're on your phone, it'll just simply bring up image one and it should pop up asking you to select an image. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna choose some artwork like this uh, sort of superhero mascot I designed for my friend uh, for Kapow Coffee. And then I'm gonna actually click upload again and choose a different sort of background. I'm gonna to go to something like maybe this Japanese temple, click open. And we've got our two images. So now I'm just going to hit enter and see what it comes up with. So you can see it's kind of created a version of the character and placed it onto a background that's very similar. So if I upscale one of these and take a look, we've got our superhero with the coffee cup on the background there, which is pretty cool. But what happens also, if we compare this to just say, popping this straight into version four, if I copy this information, type in imagine, and just paste those two images in there, Let's see what result we get while not using Blend to compare the two. Okay, so it, it does look much the same, except I, I do believe there's a little less, uh, maybe a little less sort of detail, but overall, it's pretty much the same process uh, as far as I can tell. Now, what if I wanna blend five images? I type in slash blend, and I've actually noticed a bit of an issue with the desktop version. It seems to work better on the phone version, but if I click on image one, I choose my Musashi character that I drew a few years ago, pop him in there, I then decide I want to add this cow image to make them look a bit more photorealistic. Now these images I got off pexels.com or our public domain. But if I actually click here, a little space or here, uh, and I click four more and add image three, it adds it to the start of the prompt, which is a little bit, a little bit annoying. So what I need to do is type in slash blend. I add my image. And then I physically tap in here and type in image three colon, and then I add my third image, which I'm gonna choose this samurai. And I continue to, to add in like that. So I'm actually going to click the little, I'm gonna use the space to move through. I'm gonna type in image four, and then I'll, I'll actually need to zoom out a bit for this, add that file. And we're going to choose this Japanese temple. And let's scroll across again. I click at the end. I type in image five colon. Scroll across. And I find a fifth image I want to add. So I'm guessing maybe I'll choose this samurai looking person here. So I've added five images. I haven't tried this yet to see what result we'll get with these five images. So I'm going to click on the space, hit enter, and see what mid journey comes up with. So you can see it's kind of blended my drawing with some Im images to create like a lifelike version of uh, what I illustrated originally. So let's upscale a couple of those and take a look. And we've got some pretty creepy results, but uh, pretty cool considering what we're working with and a very cool outcome for this blend feature. Let's take things a step further though. I'm going to type in imagine a cyberpunk neon abstract design. And whilst thinking about that, I'm going to save this image. So now I have an abstract. I'm going to choose this first one and upscale that. It's now been upscaled. I'm going to click and save that image as well. Now I'm going to go back down, blend, and upload the generated pic that I blended before, along with the more stylized mid-journey image that I created and we're gonna see what results we get from that. And now you can see we have this more stylized result that we can actually work with. So I'm going to upscale a couple of these. So we've taken what's a pretty harshly mixed image and created this more sort of stylized look, which is cool. The cow face is gone, but it's still a lot of fun to play with and produce these images. Now this can be great for blending people together. So if I take this picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone and blend that, we get a pretty interesting result. If I take some artwork and blend it with Sylvester Stallone, I get another type of result. Or I can just simply take photos of me and drawings I've made of myself and sort of blend those together. And even blend again, 
other styles to get a mixed style image. So you can have a lot of fun playing with these and just sort of seeing what you get. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Uh, if you want more mid journey videos, check out my channel and uh, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.